all right guys so in this game we are going against a term we're gonna go over how to beat a term in season 19 guys as you know the term has been heavily nerfed but i think there's still a lot of times especially in lower mmrs you're going against a lot of them so really being able to know how to beat them is very important my scholar is using a dust terminator close to dust terminator but instead of chomp they have razor bites 46 speed in the middle they have a 46 speed aqua with a lot of bug damage does a great job at breaking down shields and they have a little twist on their plant because instead of having your traditional um, vegetable they have crimson water to finish off those back doors again going against a healing plants mid with some damage this is a very dangerous midliner and 43 speed on the end let's see how amanda maru starts off so very aggressive play in the start going for the round one poison not a bad move here and the reason why amanda maru does this is amanda maru does not have any vegetables so when you're a team that doesn't have any vegetables you want to put yourself in a position where you don't get your energy stolen and very smartly as you can see here what happens as you can see what happens here this team goes for the double vegetable they're out two energy and they get no reward for it so all in all now we're in a situation where all amanda maru has to do is really block up and they will be in a phenomenal place to play this person 1v1 which is what where we want to be so again terminators if you can get some little damage on them early not a bad situation to be in and of course terminators they can't win the game in five six seven rounds they're probably going to take you to seven eight nine rounds so poison is really really hurtful to them this team is lacking it doesn't have a beast on it so it's going to take you a while to get to the end so let's see what happens here i like this move by amanda maru but honestly this wouldn't be a bad time to just pass or just use one pumpkin the reason is you can leave an energy here because they just showed you they used two vegetables um you don't have to go for the poison overkill here um but it's not the worst move in the world the only thing now is now because you use two energy you're at a situation where your opponents skipped a turn they have five energy and you have two energy um yeah and right here not a bad move here using the one energy here but now you're in a situation where you don't get your disguises you can't replenish your energy you can't use your pumpkin your your plants gonna probably die here not much you can do and you probably want to pass this is a healing plant so you need to save up your cards so you're actually in a pretty, after having a pretty amazing start, you've essentially in round four kind of let your opponent come back here because look at this energy advantage, six to two. I'm using a lot of cards, not doing a lot of energy. So put, putting yourself in a very vulnerable situation, but let's see if Amanda Maru can come back here. And goes for the termi kill. Oh my goodness, what a savage. I like that study break. What an absolute savage. Now this is a phenomenal play, and I'll tell you why I like it somewhat. Taking out the termi early. The reason I like it is because of this magical card here. Do you see it? Do you see its loveliness? Do you see its amazingness? This card here is called Razor Bite, and it heals your Axie when you hit an Aqua. Guess what this midliner is? An Aqua. So 1v1, the Terminator is in a great position to kill the, the Aqua, but right now, they need to be careful here because this healing plant can be a very big nuisance 1v1. Okay, so five poisons on the healing plant, but this is where the healing plant's in prime healing time. Um, here, 
So this is an interesting spot. So this guy can do a lot of damage to you. However, you know, you know this guy wants to get a heal off. So what I would do here, you only got two energy. You put the risky first and then the dull grip. And that's the best you can really do against this guy here. Risky first, dull grip, and then you do two mystics. If you have, you have one, and that's to get the poison ticks. But let's see what Amanda Maru happens here. So normally you want to put dull grip and risky first, but in this situation, you put risky before the dull grip. And the reason why that is, is this person, if they want to live, they are going to put up tremendous amount of shield. So much shield that your risky won't actually break it. By putting risky first and then dull grip, your dull grip will do 200 damage instead of just 150. But let's see what happens here. And yep, as we thought, put up a tremendous amount of shield. And you probably wanted the mystic here too to get the energy. So they put up around 200 shields for that 300 in total. If they did risky first and then so if they did risky first and then dull grip, they'd have probably done around 300 damage here, plus your five poison ticks, which is 10 damage each, plus your mystic. Guys, that would have probably done the job. So leaving 100 damage on the table and now you're in territories you don't want to be in. Um, the good news though is this person to heal had to put up a tremendous amount of shield here, right? No, you don't want to go back door here. No, you'll want to just get rid of this guy. <laughs> you don't want to go back door. Just get rid of this guy. It's fine. You have the one on one advantage. Give this guy a million poison. Oh, Lord. I mean, it's it's not the worst, you know, going back door. But you already got the matchup you want here, you know? The one thing I'll say here is though, able to predict the enemies move perfectly. You see the reason why they didn't go and use aqua cards here is they noticed that the plant passed here and the plant was at max energy. That lets you know that the plant is most likely not gonna want to use another um, healing or pumpkin because they're already at the max and now you're in a situation where <laughs> the plants a goner absolutely amazing so here's a very simple situation just one stick of you and you get the win look at this absolutely incredible and this is where you stick it in their face and you just hit them with a bunch of razor bites there's nothing this aqua can do and Amanda Maru has this in the bag. So again, what was the key to Amanda Maru taking this game? It was realistically identifying, do I wanna go to the back or the front? A team that lacks beast damage, lacks taking power and stopping power is most likely gonna take you to round eight or nine. So they're very susceptible to poisons. Because of that, Amanda Maru is able to poison them and get the win, phenomenal. Guys, if you like these type of videos where I show you how to beat these certain turn teams, like how to beat a Terminator, let me know in the comments below. But we gotta take off Flight Crew. We're gonna keep rocking on Twitch. We'll see you next time.